Hello, I'm Matthew Beauty Shaper and in this video I'll be talking about the bioavailability of calcium as it's absorbed in the body. Bioavailability is basically the amount of calcium that's absorbed by the body as opposed to the amount you consume. Although there have been studies about the bioavailability of vitamins in the human body, it's still at the beginning stages, but I'll try to shed some light on the known information on the subject so far. Fortunately, studies have been able to determine absorption and bioavailability of vitamins from the use of radioisotopes and stable isotopes, but I won't get into that. Bioavailability has to do more than just absorption, though. It also has to do with storage and retention in the body. To begin with, I'll talk about dairy products. Dairy products, like milk, as most people know, has calcium, but it also has 20% to 40% vitamin A, B2, B12, and vitamin K, including phosphorus, magnesium, zinc, and iodine. Around 40% of calcium from dairy products is normally absorbed in the average adult, with higher absorption rates in children and lower absorption rate in the aging population. And 99% of the calcium is in the skeleton. The excess of calcium leaves the body from the urine, or excretion, or sweat. After the age of 35, you start getting negative calcium balance and you lose around 10 milligrams of calcium a day. And in postmenopausal women, it's around 40 milligrams a day or more. Most of the calcium is used in the bone tissue and through the absorption in the small intestine with the help of vitamin D. Lactose has also been found to enhance the absorption of calcium when taken in high doses. So even if you drink milk products that have lactose broken down, it probably won't be enough for the body to absorb more. Something interesting that I should mention is that protein has been found to cause more of the calcium that you eat to be excreted from the pee because of higher intestinal calcium absorption. For this reason, I highly recommend start weightlifting. Start a weightlifting program because the exercise will help reduce bone density loss and possibly even reverse it. Speaking for myself, I've been weightlifting for years and I get my bone density checked every few years, every five, like five years, and my bone density has increased. And although it's just increased minimally, the fact is that it's gone up. And I don't even eat or drink more than the usual amount of dairy products. It's exercise. I hope you enjoyed my video on the bioavailability of calcium. I'll be talking about the bioavailability of other nutrients in the upcoming videos. And always, always remember, love yourself and respect your body and it will reward you back with good health. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll keep making more videos. And if you care to make a little comment, I'd really appreciate that too. Thank you so much for watching my video. Have a great day.